Hmm. I did all of this. At the end of it all, it ended in tears. I was heartbroken. I literally could not, as fat, I don't know how to put it, but. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And my name is Patricia here again at your screen. Yes, I know it's been ages and this is my very first official video on this channel ever since the year 2023 started like i made a uh, vlogs for the christmas and the new year unfortunately i was unable to upload them and ever since my last video this is the first video of this year that i'm making and um I'm not supposed to be making this video today, but I needed to do it in order to let you guys in into what has happened so far. I left unannounced and a few days ago, I uploaded on my community tab, um, trying to let you guys that I am back and I'll be uploading videos again and especially vlogs and things that will interest you. Um, but I was totally heartbroken the day I made that post on my community tab something happened that broke my heart I was totally broken um, from what happened in fact I, ne I needed to pick courage to start making this video um, last night was when the courage came to make this video i didn't want to make this video before i start uploading my vlogs like i told you guys that i've been away and i'm going to let you guys know the reason why i have been away but something somehow happened which i'm going to let you guys in to know in this particular video so please if you're here for the first time do this free to subscribe to my channel and also like this video share if it interests you to share and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and I want to appreciate all of you that checked on me I said may God Almighty bless you this has happened so that there are a lot of changes people have switched over to different things to different fields people have gotten their niche where they fall in and what interests them it is not a bad idea there is always room for changes there is always room to test other places if a is not working it can go for b to know if it will work and i must say god bless you all and i must say that you guys are very courageous seeing people walking forward you know, trying to make ends meet on these streets god bless you and i pray that our hustle in these streets will never be in vain that god almighty is there to help us establish us enlarge us and bless our cause in jesus mighty name so let us come back to the video like i said initially i left for about three going to four months now have not uploaded we are in the fourth month of this year and ever since this year i've not uploaded by the way happy easter and how was your new year celebration how was the season of rest and all that and happy resurrection season as we celebrate the death and the god's christ resurrection i pray that god almighty will cause everything that is good that is dead in our life to resurrect in the name of jesus christ all right so what happened is that i traveled to nigeria yeah most of you know and why most of you don't know about it i traveled to nigeria and my purpose of traveling though it was not a proper planned trip it was just like an emergency trip i never thought i was going to travel this year particularly talk of the time that i traveled okay so i traveled because we lost my father-in-law and before we lost him my husband has already booked his ticket to travel to go and see him because it's been a long time he saw him last just only on video calls and, and all that. So he wanted to see him, he has prepared, he has bought his ticket, he has made everything ready for him to take off. He was meant to take off on the 9th of December, 2022. And this thing happened on the, 
on November, towards the ending of November, it was such an, a broken moment, a heartbroken moment for us. But we thank God for, for the grace to have overcome it, alright? So, when that happened, Hobby was supposed to travel alone, not with me. We never planned uh, me traveling with him, not the kids and all that. So, when the death occurred, um, that is where I started having the thought of following him along because um, Yeah, that is not something that that you just talk over it. It's something that you feel the loss of the person All right, that a family member a close person to your heart died and you will feel the pain when you are far away the pain might not be too much but when you are close, you definitely feel the pain too much. So I was feeling for my husband, letting him to travel all alone without anybody, without any close, close, close relative of his going with him or staying with him throughout his his stay in Nigeria. And also his brother was not around the country to also stay with him. So and there are just two of them. So I just didn't it fit, you know, I I had restless nights. So we thought over it and um we have we had to buy my own ticket, you know, because he already bought his own ticket and we have to shift his own ticket to fit in for the barrier of the dead instead of him going for Christmas celebration to go see his father. So we don't have to shift the uh, the ticket to uh, the barrier so in that process he bought my ticket and when the time was ripe we traveled and that was what happened so during during, during this time of the tra of this uh, traveling preparation i didn't have much time to come and you know start telling you guys what is going on and also being how nigeria is now and the cost of our traveling to nigeria there was no time for me to start uploading videos when I was, I was there and having no proper internet or that so I said okay when I returned that I was going to be uploading the vlogs that I did as a matter of fact the phone I'm using to make this video is a new phone and I got this phone purposely and only for the reason of my trip to Nigeria. I want to capture all the memories that I can be able to capture and I want to save them on my YouTube channel because I know it can never die there. Nothing will happen to it in that place. Sometimes Facebook might fuck up, you might forget something, something or it might be hard and all that, you will lose a lot of things over there. But YouTube, you always get it there. Whether 20 years time, 100 years time, you always get it there. So that was my, my end. And my you guys, this is my 10th year of being in Europe. I've not traveled to Nigeria to see my family. A lot of things have happened in my family. A lot of changes has occurred in Nigeria. And you know, when I traveled to Nigeria, I was looking at Nigeria like, um, like 10 years ago, or let me say 9 years plus years ago that i traveled to and that i left in nigeria things are no longer the way they used to be there is a lot of changes like a lot of things have changed you know first from this currency thing and all that you know so when i when i got to nigeria i was so happy i was capturing everywhere that i go to all that i did in Nigeria, I captured all of them, you know, I visited a lot of places, I visited even Uyo, oh, such a beautiful place to behold, to stay, what a beautiful serene to live and to, you know, to have good time and all that, and my sisters, my brothers, my father, I've mixed them like Kilo Day, I've mixed them a lot, like no man business, and I was so happy to capture the moments that we spent together, and we took pictures together. My my mom's last born, our last born, my baby sis, she, she graduated from school. I was not there. She did her youth service. I was not there. She got married. She did everything. Traditional marriage, church wedding, and she had her two kids that she have now. And I was not there to attend any of these occasions. All these things happened at my back. A lot of things happened. My elder sister traveled out without me seeing her physically for nine years plus that I've been here. So I was just so, so filled with joy. And that was where I had to get a new gadget. You had to get a beautiful uh, um, capture, capturing of beautiful places, you know, with a beautiful look 
looking picture and videos guys i did a lot of filming and also the wedding the burial proper i did a lot of filming i recorded a lot of things for memory sake for remembrance sake but guys i did all of this at the end of it all it ended in tears yes i was heartbroken I literally could not, as fat, I don't know how to put it, but <sighs> all my efforts went down the drain, all the time spent, even when I'm, when I'm supposed to be concentrating on what I'm doing, I will see put up camera to capture a lot of things. We had, I had fun in the village, despite the fact that it's a barrier. But the women in the village cheered me up in the sense that I was happy to be in their midst. I was able to know the women in my husband's village, the married women there. I was able to know the Omo, Omo, Omo Oba, Omo Oba women. I was able to meet them all because when I got married, I didn't stay much and I left. I left and I came here. So I didn't meet many of them. And those of them that met me then recognized me as well. And we had good times and I was so happy. We, we made Oba from beginning to the end. We did everything and I captured all those things. And I was so, so happy that this is a memory that will last with me forever. And I finally made videos with my father. He was surprised to, 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 to see me. I made surprise um videos surprise videos like my trip to nigeria was not announced to any of my family members it wasn't announced even to my father even to my own twin brother he never had an idea none of them had a tip of idea that i was coming to nigeria i and my husband and my friends here we hid it to ourselves let me go and surprise my dearly beloved family members and the surprise started from the airport when i landed uh, in nigeria at lagos airport we boarded another flight to um what is it called to portacourt yes and we landed in portacourt my sister who came to pick my husband according to them as they know saw me they never knew i was coming I captured all those moments but guys this is the reason why I am creating this YouTube <laughs> this is the reason why I am creating this YouTube because I cannot suffer all this suffering at the end of it all I will not see it it hurts it hurts so bad it hurts so bad my husband I give him the phone I gave my husband phone to capture some moments for me at the airport and he mistakenly used his hand to blow the camera part of the phone and he didn't capture anything. Two minutes of videos were just zero over zero. Three minutes of another video were just nothing. I was heartbroken for that alone. Then when I now returned from Nigeria to Italy in my house after two days of return, after two days of return i personally by myself because it's a new phone i don't know i've not gotten used to the pictures in the phone i was just trying to get used to it and i was trying to put my youtube email so that i can be using the gmail to upload and edit my video edit and upload my videos but as I was doing it, I don't know what happened. I went and pressed reset. I, Oluchi, pressed reset. I don't know what took me to reset. I went and reset my phone. And everything that I suffered for went down the drain. Everything wiped off. Not even a single picture came out from all that I struggled in Nigeria. All the beautiful moments, all the time I spent with my family members, all the time I spent in the village, uh, my husband's village with the Omo 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 Oba, the Omo Oba Women Association. 
how they were trying to introduce me into the meeting of Omoba. I captured those beautiful moments where I was interviewing them, even asking them how they, are, they made their own Oba. I miss all of those things. When it happened, I was asked, are you sure you want to um, reset your phone? I said yes. They asked me again, are you very sure you want to? This, is how, this was, it was happening in, between me and my phone. Are you sure again that you want to reset your phone? I said yes. Immediately I clicked yes. That was when my brain now reset. I was like, Jesus, what have I done? Already the phone has turned off trying to reboot itself. And my husband jumped out of his chair and asked me, what is it? I said, I've cleared everything. He said, why? I don't know. I was dumbfounded for many days. For many, many days. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. All my struggles, all my efforts, all that I labored for, all that went down the drain, all the pictures, all the videos, all the beautiful moments, all my sister's children that I spent time with, all the road trips, Omahia, Potako, Potako, Omahia, Oo, Uyo, Owere. That I went, even in Bisse, that I went, all the places, everything went down the drain. I've not really recovered from it, to be honest with you guys. I've not recovered from it. It hurts so bad. It hurts. It hurts. I'm not just after um putting it up on youtube i am not after that i'm after the memories i've created with my how can i bring back those memories so that was how i lost it i promised you guys that i was going to bring up the vlog that we will that you will like even though i know that the trip was a very short trip but that short time i had a lot of things planned out to do through with my sisters but because of time we are not able to do them because Nigeria is a very busy place. Every day you're on the way, you're on the go, and based on with the cashless policy struggles, you, you guys saw on social media what is happening uh, in banks. Those things are real. I experience them. If not that, it is through I am in my mad that we are able to succeed in bank things. Even though I went to bank more than three times in in uh, Nigeria, but getting in was not a, uh, an issue for me but at, at the end of it all it happened like this anyways what encouraged me is that once there is life there is hope i must have lost those memories but i will still gain better memories tomorrow we are building more memories all right and it is not my last going to nigeria i'm still going to nigeria very soon yes very soon i'm still going back to nigeria so please, I want to plead with you guys that I made a promise that I was going to upload vlogs for you guys that you will enjoy and for you to know the reason why I've been away. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those videos are nowhere to be found again. They are nowhere to be found. So when all these things happened, a lot of None of my friends were at it. In fact, they carried it on their head as if it is their own matter. They became so pity for me. And they were trying every possible way to see that I get something back. Somebody will say, why didn't you put up your Gmail? Remember, it's a new phone. Google have not really recognized the Gmail that much. And according to what I find out, the account has not been very well verified yes so i tried to put up the google account because when i opened the phone with a google account i opened it when i was in nigeria and i didn't have access to pen or paper at that moment so i needed to do a screenshot and i saved it in my gallery now, but i forgot that i sent it to my husband's whatsapp as well the password and the gmail when all this happened, I was not thinking straight anymore. But at the end of it all, I thank God that yesterday night, I was able to recover 
um, the photos that I took in Nigeria with my family members and all that but the videos I couldn't get the videos back so please guys pray for me that God will give me the heart to be at this loss in Jesus name amen also if you want me to upload the little ones that I have in my former phone that I used to capture some little little clips let me know in the comment section and I will also upload it for you but until then thank you for watching and God bless you bye